The events of the Electro movie take place after the events of the 2003 Daredevil movie. We see Electro be revived after Bullseye had killed her at the end of the last movie, and she is training with the blind martial arts master known as Stick. And she is being trained in the ancient art of Kimagure, but she is haunted by the past of her mother's death in the hands of a mysterious figure and is kicked out as she can't let go of the past. So instead she does the most logical thing and becomes a contract killer. A few years later we see that she gets a mission to unalive a person, but the only catch is that she has to stay there for a few days prior to unaliving the person, but she also gets a lot of money for it so she agrees. As she spends her days in the cabin she catches a teenage girl named Abby steal her mother's necklace, the same one we saw in Daredevil, but she lets her go since after all she is just a kid. But later that day she baits out the girl's father Mark and the two kind of become friends. She then goes to eat Christmas dinner with them but it turns out that the daughter is trying to set Electra and her dad up kinda it's confusing. Electra starts falling for Mark but she realizes that she was sent out to take out both Mark and Abby. She however decides against it and spares them and she also leaves. But the Hand on the other hand don't want that. The Hand is a secret organization of magical ninjas and they had sent out some of their own agents to take out Mark and Abby but Electra had arrived in time to stop them. The trio are now on the run from the Hand. Master Roshi, no not that one, finds out about Electra's involvement and decides to send out his son and a team of special magical ninjas to take out the trio. It turns out that the hand won Abby because she's apparently the treasure. Electra then goes to meet Stick and asks for him to protect Mark and Abby while she disappears but he says nah skill issue and forces Electra to deal with it. They then arrive at a country house where Electra and Abby hit it off with each other but as all good things this is cut short as the hand have caught up to them. The trio then go running in the woods and Electra tries to fight them off. We then find out that Abby knows martial arts and Electra is then distracted by the fact that Abby knows martial arts and is given the kid of death by typhoid but luckily stick arrives to save the day he takes them back to his base where he confirms that abby is in fact the treasure electra also learns that she too was a treasure hence why her mother was murdered by the hand and she realizes that she's part of a battle between stick and the chaste versus the hand and she didn't even realize electra then astral projects to meet kirigi and challenges him to a fight the winner keeps abby and electra arrives at her childhood home and we get this epic scene electra then realizes that kirigi was the one who killed her mother and she goes out on an all-out epic fight mode and beats Kirigi. Meanwhile we see that Typhoid had caught up to Abby and kills her. Electra then kills Tattoo and senses Typhoid and kills her. She then takes Abby's body and tries to use the resurrection technique that Stick used on her and Abby lives once again. Electra then says goodbye to Mark and Abby and hopes that Abby doesn't end up like her. She then meets Stick and he says that she didn't turn out so bad and some lessons can only really be taught through life experiences and the two depart. Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of the movie.